Hello, it's me again. Um, I don't know why I said it's me again, just because I'm filming two videos on the same day. You won't see them on the same day. Hello, cat. Do you have to come sit by my feet? Could you not have just stayed there? Just one meter away from me. No? Okay. Anyway, this is my cat for anyone who wants to see. Today we're doing a book haul, as you can tell by the title of the video. Um, these are all books I bought last year, but never did a book haul of. So you haven't seen that I've bought them. And there's quite a few of them, so let's just get right into it. This first book I actually got as a present for my birthday, so I didn't purchase this myself. But it is a new book in my possession, so I thought I'd show you. It is, ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Um, Wind Pinball by Haruki Murakami. This is his two first um, novellas, I think. Or his first two novels, they say. But this looks like two novellas to me, because they're not that long. It's two books in one. The first one is Hear the Wind Sing, and the second one is Pinball. It's my first Murakami book that I'm ever going to read. And The Guardian says it's quintessential Murakami, so... I hope it's good. I'm sure it will be. I've never heard of this book. I've, I've heard of many of these other books, but I've never heard of this one. So I'm excited to read it. Then, next, we have three books that I purchased together, and they kind of match. I do this a lot. When I go and buy books, I un inadvertently buy books that sort of match in a theme. But anyway, the first one is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahera Mafi which you probably have heard of before. Next, I, I bought The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker. And I'm not sure if this is the same book that the movie that's on Netflix is inspired by. I think it's on Netflix. Um, I'm not sure. And when I saw this book, I thought, oh, I've never even heard of this book before. I wonder if it's related to the movie. And then I went through my Goodreads want to read list and um, it turns out this book was already on there. So I had already heard of this book before I bought it, but I just didn't remember. Next book is Inland by Taya O'Brett. And uh, she's the, wom the woman, the person, who wrote The Tiger's Wife. I've not read The Tiger's Wife, but I want to. But this book was in my bookshop, so I bought this one. And um, I'm not really going to tell you what any of these books are about because I don't really know. Because most of the time I just buy books based on their titles. I'm a title buyer. Not necessarily... Well, I am kind of a, a, a cover buyer too. But the title has to intrigue me as well. Now, we're going to move on to my next stack of books. Which I also all bought at the same time. Not at the same time as these books, though. But these I bought from a charity bookshop that is in... <sighs> they've been lying around for a long time. They're dusty. <sighs> that is in a restaurant in the town that I live in. So on, on your way to the bathroom, if you walk from... Or to the bathroom in that restaurant, there's a hallway full of books that you can take basically any book you want and leave as much money as you want. And all of the money that goes, or all of the money that you put in the, they have a little safe box on the wall. All the money you put in there goes directly to a, an animal um, charity in my local area. So that's very nice. And I got quite, quite a few books there. So the first one is Choix de Poème Lyrique. Don't listen to my terrible French accent, I know. It is a French poetry book. Now, I don't read any French, or I do read French, just not very much, and probably not enough to understand the context of these poems. But somebody wrote notes <laughs> in this book, and I thought that it looked very cool. Oh, wow, it's literally like on one of the pages. Oh, no, it's on more. Okay, um, but anyway, I want to actually get better at French, so I thought reading French might help me. Next, I got Anthem by Ayn Rand. 
her most popular book. Her? His? Her. It's a woman. Um, <clears throat> most popular book is called Atlas Shrugged, which I have on my bookshelf as well, but it's not mine, it's my dad's. But I've never heard of anything by her, so I thought I would take it, buy it, get it for myself. Um, yes, so that's that. I don't know what it's about, I just took it because I thought it was, you know, sounded interesting. Then I have Douglas Adams and John Lloyd, The Deeper Meaning of Lif. Not life, Lif. Um, a dictionary of things that aren't, that there aren't any words for yet. My friend told me to get this book because she said these are, th these are the same people that wrote Guardians of the Galaxy? Or, no, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, what am I saying? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, so she said I should get this book. So I did. Then, we have a book covered in plastic. This book is The Dragon Book of Verse, an Oxford school poetry set. When I opened this book, it opened on this page, which says, Five Ways to Kill a Man. And in that point in my, my, my time, in that point in time, I thought it was funny that I opened it on that page. So I got the book. I don't know if I'll enjoy any of these poems. I read Five Ways to Kill a Man, and it was quite interesting. But I don't know if I'll enjoy the rest. But here I am, and I have them now. So Then, I got One Day by David Nichols, because many of the people that I know who also read have told me that I should read this book. And so when I found it there, I thought, why not? Then next I have North Anger Abbey by Jane Austen. And um, there's not really much to say about this book. It's a classic and I want to read more classics. So I got this book. And I think most people know what it's about. But I don't. So I'm in for a surprise when I start reading this book. Next I have Unaccompanied Woman by Jane Jaska. Or Jaska. I don't know how to pronounce her surname. I actually saw this book in a bookshop a while ago. Not this this specific copy. The copy that I saw was a um, hard pa hard paper, hard back, hard cover um, copy, and it had it was white cloth bound with a little blue title on the on the spine, and that's all I saw. So I had no idea what this book was about. I just saw unaccompanied women, and I thought it sounded interesting. So when I saw this book in um, the charity bookshop, I thought, why don't I get it? The last book I have, it's, which is very dirty, I'm just now noticing, I will have to figure out a way to clean this, is um, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. I haven't read her other book, but I've seen this book a lot, and it sounded interesting to me. And by interesting, I mean I thought the title sounded interesting. So when I saw it in the charity bookshop, I got it. And my friend, who I was at the bookshop with, actually also said that she wanted to read it. Um, so I might actually borrow this to her, lend this to her, English, before I end up reading it. Let me make it a nice stack of all my books. They're quite heavy. These are all the books I bought last year and um, didn't show you <laughs> because I was not really making videos last year. I was doing other shit. Anyway, um, those are all the books that I bought last year and didn't show you. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave me a thumbs up and comment below and tell me which of these books you want to read. And if you have discovered a new book on this list that you want to read now because I showed it to you. Thank you very much for joining me on today's video on in. And I'll see you again very soon with my next one.